Hello everyone, my name is Jana Oates. I'm 19 years old. I'm a communications major at Grand Canyon University and this is my This Is Me speech for my Fundamentals of Communications class. And so I guess I can start out this speech just by telling you guys a little bit of my background. I was born and raised in Illinois with my mom, my dad, and my brother. And we're all super duper close. We tell each other everything and our family dynamic is so amazing. And the communication that we have with one another has always been an open and honest communication base. And it's been a great healthy way to grow up. And they're the best people I've ever met. And I love my family so, so much. I grew up in a Christian home, so I've always known the Lord, and I always knew that he sent his son to die for me. Never had a doubt about that. And I was also homeschooled. And being homeschooled, you're kind of isolated from the rest of the world. Like, you are outside of what is happening. And so it was kind of hard for me growing up, to be honest, because I was always that homeschooled girl who always had to try to insert herself into different friend groups just to fit in. And that wasn't the best, but I, you guys, you guys can see we made it, so that's always good. Um, but as I was growing up, I joined dance to try to make friends because, I, like I said before, I was kind of isolated, being homeschooled and all, so I joined dance. And I'm not trying to bash dance at all. I love dance so much. It really has become a part of who I am, and it's become a great way for me to worship and communicate with the Father. But I, as I started to grow up, my body started to change, and that started to, to develop in my mind these self esteem and body image issues that I could not shake. I started to believe that I was fatter than all the other girls in my classes. I believed that my teachers weren't putting me in the front because I was too big to be in the front and I wasn't good enough. And that created a lot of emotional and mental harm for me later on in life that I'm still trying to heal from. Body image is no joke and body image is actually a big part of my life and God has made it a huge part of my story. So I honestly would say that my biggest struggle growing up um, that affected my like, communication with others was my own insecurity. My experiences as I started to get older was I always felt like I had to beg for people's attention and I had to, to do the most in order to be accepted. Because I was like, well, if my body isn't gonna work for me, then my personality is gonna work for me. I'm gonna be the funny one, I'm gonna be the fun one, and I'm going to do everything I can to get approval from people. And clearly, that doesn't work like that. So I am so grateful that God delivered me from that, that attention seeking eagerness for acceptance type mindset because it will never benefit anybody. So as I said prior, I was homeschooled. And so that really did affect the way I communicated with people because it almost made me more eager to talk to people and it made me more thirsty and hungry for that community. So I feel like even being homeschooled, like God has still delivered me and still brought me to a place where like I need to be personal with people. And that brought me to a place where like I had time like by myself to know myself, to know how I need to communicate with others and communicate with like parents, adults, kids, and all the above. But recently this past year, this, this is something that really affected the way that I communicate. I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism and Hashimoto's, which comes with chronic fatigue, extreme weight gain, and a lot more. But being tired all the time really affects the way that you communicate with others, and it really affected the way that my life was ran. So I had to relearn how to communicate, hey, I'm tired, I can't go out today. Or hey, I am not feeling well, can I please sit down for a while? So it was a whole new way of communication that I had to learn because when my body wasn't working for me, again, my communication had to work for me instead. So I guess that's me. I have been delivered from, from body image issues and chronic illnesses and all of the above, but the Lord is good and he has, he has lifted me up and raised me up even in my lowest valleys and I am so, so thankful. And again, communication is a big part of my life because I've truly been blessed to have a platform and to have a, an ability to talk to people and to minister to people um, about different things that have happened in my own life. So God has really turned my mess into my message. And I am so grateful for this opportunity to be here at Grand Canyon University and continue to see how God works in my life and in others' life. Thank you so much for this opportunity to give this speech and have an amazing day.